So yeah, I think we're going to park up and then you get a tram thing to like the monorail station and then from the monorail station you go into the theme park, okay? Right. I think that's how it is. Oh, so we're going on the monorail? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, you have to. Right, where is Grandma and Pop's gone? Ah. Hi, have they gone down because it's disabled? Yep, that's right. It's just I, I, I thought we were going to park together because that's my mum and dad, but I didn't realise she was going down on disabled. That's fine. Well, no, I'm not disabled, so. Oh, I don't know. Which is better, do you think? You know better. Right, we'll take the tram then. Thank you. Thank you. I'll take the tram as well. Right, so we'll have to catch up with uh, mum and dad at some point. So we are finally parked into, we're walking down to the trams. Now I'm just trying to find a way to remember where we're parked. Um, maybe they'll tell us, ah, right, hook. Hook, they'll probably tell us. Um, so what we'll do is we'll try to remember that because I couldn't use the app, couldn't find the place on the app where you can register your car. So we will find that. So we're just walking towards the trams that take you from the bus um, take from the bus, take from the cars, just trying to do that, and then we'll carry on. So we've got that hooked over the other side, so I'm sure she'll tell us. So let's just join the queue and get on the tram. Okay, okay but it is now safe to board. Watch your head, watch your step, pull down on the handle, out on the door. Right, let's go on uh, this one. So we're going to pull down on the handle. There you go, in you go. Thank you. This is it, this is this is Theo's first <laughs> Disney ride. <laughs> oh my friends, I'm you want to score 421, score 421. Write it down, take a picture of it, or you can use the iCard locator feature on the Buy This Experience app, presented by State Farm. For your safety, remain seated with the doors closed.
So Theo has decided that we are going to go to the Magic Kingdom via the ferry boat. And then when we get back, we're going to take the monorail. Are we going to come home via the monorail, are we? Okay. Well, how about we do this? We'll come home via whatever's got the shortest queue. Because yeah. <laughs> we're going to be coming back and forth a number of times. Yeah. So it makes sense to choose whatever's going to be quickest. Yeah. yeah. Look, look, look. There's Disney over there. Look. You see the castle? Yeah. <laughs> hey dude. There we go. What do you reckon so far? It's amazing, isn't it? Pardon me. So we're just waiting for the ferry. So this is the I don't know what it's called, it's sort of Disney Lakes. It's pretty stunning. So there goes the boat. Right then. I wonder if it's an actual proper boat or whether it's just got like tracks underneath the water and it just drags it along. So we shall wait. There's another one at the dock over there, so we will wait for that one to return. <laughs> We're here, finally. Oh, <laughs> Dad's doing his uh, village idiot. <laughs> you alright? Yeah. So, so far so good. Do you know what's quite nice? On the water you've got a nice breeze. I don't know, God, here it is. That's scary, look at that. Ah! Um, you get a lovely breeze. Oh, hello. I don't know why the camera did that. No, you've got I am the... That was weird. That was really weird, I shouldn't have done that. So yeah, it's quite nice, it's got a nice breeze all off the water here, so it keeps you cool. So uh, yeah, we should wait for the boat.
So we've just done the paddle boat. So we're walking into Magic Kingdom now. And this is where we're going to find out how it all goes with the magic bands. Because I haven't got a clue how this works. So time will tell us. So ladies and gentlemen, the camera's messing up. Hey, here we go. There he is. So, uh, oh, great, the camera's done that again. Love to know why it's doing that. Yeah. We might change to the other gimbal in a minute. Yeah. Right then, so this is our very first time. So we will see what goes on. Figure all the way to the top, please, on screen. All the way back, please. Pull it. There you go. Uh, yeah. There we go, figure to the screen. <laughs> There we go. Uh, thanks. Lovely. Thanks down here. Thank you, mate. So that was really simple. All we did, we did the setting up on the app. That worked really, really well. We just did bing, and then fingerprint, we, done. That's it. Yeah, you put your thing, you, you, you band against the, the holder. Well, what, you, what would you call that? Receiver? I, I'll call it a circle scanner. Sort of scanner. Yeah, scanner. Put it against the scanner. Put your finger on the fingerprint reader, and it's done. It's so simple. So uh, now off to enjoy Magic Kingdom. Oh, that smells nice. So, what's your first impressions to Disney and Disney Main Street? I'm surprised it's not the castle in the figure. We're not there yet. So it is a bit of a walk away, so that gives you a, a kind of false thing, I guess. Hello, mate. It's, quite it's pretty cool, huh? Mm -hmm. It is incredible on how all the smells are like. Yeah. He's right. They smell very delicious. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. No, we're not. No, no, we can just walk where you want. There's no. You can go this way, you can go that way. You just. As long as you avoid people, it's fine. So we are now off to Tomorrowland at Theo's request. So why do you want to go to Tomorrowland first, mate? That's a fair point. Do you know what? You're going to love Epcot Centre as well then, because that's quite futuristic. So we are now walking into Tomorrowland. I don't know why it's so icy. Any ideas why it's so icy, Theo? Any ideas why it's so icy? No, me neither. 
So, Theo, this is your first experience of the carousel of progress, okay? So we're going to wait for the assistant to let us in. Welcome to Walt Disney's Carousel of Progress. Uh, you're in for a real treat. The Carousel of Progress was Walt's own idea from beginning to end. He loved it. He introduced fair in New York City in 1964, and it was a shit. Millions of people came to see it. And since then, the Carousel of Progress has had more performances than any other stage show in the history of American theater. You know, Walt loved the idea of progress, and he loved the American family. And he himself was probably as American as anyone could possibly be. He thought it would be fun to watch the American family go through the 20th century experiencing all the new wonders as they came. And he put them together in a show called Carousel of Progress, which we are now about to see. Big beautiful tomorrow, shining at the end of every day. There's a great big beautiful tomorrow, and tomorrow is just a dream away. It's a dream come true for you and me. So beautiful tomorrow, shining at the end of every day. There's a great big beautiful tomorrow, just a dream away. You and me, so there's a great big beautiful tomorrow, shining at the end of every day. There's a great big beautiful tomorrow. Just a dream away. Well, it's another Halloween here in the fabulous 40s. Everything is better than ever now. And we've got some amazing new wonders around the house to prove it. For instance, our refrigerator holds more food and ice cubes. And thanks to our automatic dishwasher, oh, I don't have to dry the dishes anymore after supper. Gives Rover and me more time to enjoy our evening stroll together. <laughs> Later, boy. Oh, and here's something else that's new. I just heard a new term today on the radio. Fella says, we've got something now called the rat race. Did you ever hear that one? It sure describes my life. I'm involved in something now called commuting. I drive into the city for work all day and then turn right around and drive all the way back. And the highway is crowded with fellow rats doing the same thing. That's what they call progress, dear. <laughs> yeah, I guess she's right. But we do have television <laughs> when it works. Gives you something to do after you come home. I kind of like it, you know? A guy named John Cameron Swayze gives us all the news. And then they have all this singing and dancing. A lot of fluff, but it's fun. You know, I predict the day when millions of people will learn Latin and Greek sitting in front of their TV sets. Are you awake, yes? Give him a left, you big lord. Ah, yes, a new age of electronic civilization is upon us. Hey, Dad, what do you think of my checklist? Oh, oh, boy, that's scary. That's because I'm using my beautiful sister. Down, Rover. Jim, Rover appreciates your joke. Now, you're always getting poor Patty. She's certainly prettier than either of you. You hear that? My daughter Patty is using that old exercise machine she rescued from the attic. It was all a rage in the 20s. Grandma, of course, had to have one. Didn't work then, doesn't work now. <laughs> Consistent, at least. Makes a lot of noise and blows fuses. As I was saying, Dad, I think college is really swell. You should give it a try. Oh, Patty, are you going to the Halloween party tonight? 
Oh, yes, and I'm hoping that most of you are inches by then, since I'm going with that brave boat, Wilfred. Wilfred, what a slug! He's coming as the headless horseman. What <laughs> am Come on, Dad, that claw hopper, how are you going with the snow dragon jack? Mm -hmm. How's that exercise? Oh, I don't know, I know what they is. said about me when I was dating Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> You're lucky, Rover. You don't have to date. Well, we're caught up in the do-it-yourself craze these days. We're remodeling our basement of something called a, a rumpus room, and we're looking forward to a few rumpuses out there as long as they don't get out of hand. John, this papering is getting out of hand. I could use a little help. Now, Sarah, didn't I set up that clever automatic paint-stirring machine for you? Yes, John, you're a genius. Of course, this will ruin my food mixer. Not that you care. Oh, good old Sarah. Always the last laugh. <laughs> what happened, Sarah? Oh, you and your progress. That paint mixer of yours just sloshed paint across my room. I would rub this the room. <laughs> How do you like that? I always say if you're going to be married, marry a girl with a sense of humor. Well, it's time to move on. Let's cheer up Sarah by singing our song. Come on, everybody. There's a great big beautiful tomorrow Shining at the end of every day There's a great big beautiful tomorrow And tomorrow's just a dream away Man is a dream, that's the star He follows his dream with my heart And when it becomes a reality it's a dream come true for you and me. So there's a great big beautiful tomorrow shining at the end of every day. There's a great big beautiful tomorrow just a dream away. Isn't it a pleasant holiday? Oh, turkey's in the oven, it's peaceful and quiet. Yes! 300 points, my best score yet. Well, it was peaceful until Santa brought that new virtual reality space pilot game. Your turn, Grandma. Let's switch the image over to the TV so the resident flying ace can show you how it works. Now, it's a little tricky. Just use your game glove to fly behind the other guy and blast him with your laser blaster. Laser blaster? Well, I'll give it a try. Take a look around, Grandma. You're in the ship. Feels like I'm really there. Okay, get ready. You're about to blast off. Here goes nothing. Whoa. All right, here it comes. Oh, you missed him. Hey, everybody. I'm done programming our new voice activation system. Now all our household items will do anything we tell them to do. Great. Now our refrigerator drank me a roof beer. Well, it can't quite do that. But I'll show you something it can do. Tree lights, 30% brighter. Ooh. Oh, that's no big deal. Anybody can do that. Boys Watch it. Rover, speak. John, the oven should respond to your voice commands now. Give it a try. Oh, okay. Here goes. Temperature to 375. Temperature increased to 375. Look at that. We even touched that. Reminds me of certain people I know. Yeah, right. Yeah. You gotta lose him, Grandma. Thanks to the right. Remember Dad's turkey last year? Yeah, I think. Really smoked up the place when it burned, didn't it? We ended up microwaving frozen pizzas. Well, no need to worry about the turkey this year. Not with an oven that will do anything your father tells it to do. Ooh, good shot. Did you see that? Dad, Grandma's up to 550 points. Did you say 550? Hey, she's getting the hang of that thing. I can't believe all the new gadgets they've got now. You know it's my day. Oh, so you're not going to tell us about the old days when you didn't even oh, have a phone. Today, Trish, for a while we didn't <laughs> even have a house phone. Not to mention laser discs, high def TV. Everything is automated today. Including. Well, that. No privacy is all around this place. Sorry, Orphan. Anyway, you guys know how good you got it nowadays. You know, my grandpa told me the very same thing when I was a kid. Take that, you nincompoop! Hey, check it out, Dad. Grandma's up to 975 points. Wow, 975. <laughs> 
Christmas turkey ruined. Man, what a game. I really smoked those guys. Looks like I'm resident flying ace now. Oh, best two out of three, Grandma. Later, kid. Boy, that was fun. What will they think of next? Who knows? We've got a whole new century waiting for us out there. Yeah, and maybe sometime in the new century, your father will learn how to talk to our ovens. Well, maybe by then ovens will read our minds. But hey, as long as we're all here and happy and together for the holidays, who cares if I burned our Christmas turkey? I do. I'm starving. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Dad. Someday everything's going to be so automated, you won't ever have to cook another Christmas turkey again. <laughs> <laughs> There's a great big beautiful tomorrow, shining at the end of every day. There's a great big beautiful tomorrow, and tomorrow's just a dream of a day. Man has a dream, and that's the start. He follows his dream with my heart. When it becomes so we've just done the carousel of progress a little bit less than last today, so I'm not looking like a grumpy week. So, just done the carousel of progress, what do you reckon? Good. It's good. I, do you know what? I love it. I remember it from years ago, and it's just as much fun. Um, and the nice thing about it is it hasn't changed much, but it has. It has kept up its own time. But I was saying to Zia, when I last did, when I was a kid, they didn't have, like, when they did this little touristy side of it, um, we didn't have, um,
Just realised the mic wasn't working. Huh? Just realised my mic, my mic isn't, wasn't working. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, are you doing? Theo score. My score. What can I go back? I don't know, mate. Oh. I think we're near the end, that's why. That's just not cricket. That's just not cricket. So, I beat him. He won and you lost. Beat me. Grandma. Be all of us. She whooped mine and Theo's rump. So um, what we'll do now is we'll have a look at the gander at the app and go from there. So let's take a seat and chill and wait for the grandma and pop. So go on then. What do you reckon to that one? Awesome. It was good fun, wasn't it? It's really, it's even fun when I get to beat dad all the time. <laughs> yeah, we're not a competitive family at all. So uh, not. So yeah, we uh, we really enjoyed that actually. So um, on to the next one, whatever that may be. Well, I don't know if that was meant to happen, where we had a load of fireworks go off or not. <laughs> Intriguing. Ah, yes. So, we've just left Tomorrowland, and we're, yep, yeah, Tomorrowland, there, look. And we're off to Frontier. Frontier, man? Land? No, Adventureland. Adventureland. Yeah, he's probably right. So that's where we're off to now. We're going to try and see Pirates of the Caribbean, yes? Cool, so that's where we're going to head off to. It's a busy one and it's a warm one. So we are now trying to find some ice creams. My father has charged off ahead, so we're not entirely sure where he's gone, but uh, we are going to find some ice creams. That's the main thing. Um, it is busy and unfortunately people don't seem to realize that, you know, you actually exist. And so they'll just go straight in front of you, like that gentleman there. And just see doesn't matter that I was there. So that gets a little frustrating after a while. Let's see if we can find some ice creams, yeah? Cool. Now Theo sort of thought he saw them around here, so wish us luck. Right, so we have got a I love a you float, a vanilla and vanilla and chocolate and uh, coke float soda, and then Pops has got a chocolate and vanilla. Ice cream and grandma got a strawberry and vanilla ice cream. Yummer! They what? A cup. A cup of ice cream they got and we got floats. What? There's a secret hole in it. There's a secret hole in it, is there? Yeah, if you go in you can see the cake at the bottom. Ah. Right, I'm gonna enjoy mine. Right, we've had our ice creams and our floats. Um, I have the lava me, lava me, love you, something like that. Float, really nice, really, 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 really refreshing. What did you have? I had the vanilla and chocolate swirl. Float. Float with coke. Coca Cola. And, we'll, and was it nice? Yes, yeah, it was. Definitely us. worth it. Definitely worth it. And uh, Grandma and Pops enjoyed this as well. So we are now off to Pirates of the Caribbean. Yep. So let's go. It's movie. It's great. They got these these things putting out like a cool mist to keep everyone cool because it is a very hot day. How cool is this? 
you have to say Disney certainly know how to uh, set a scene man. it's incredible so we're off to find Car Pirates of the Caribbean it's a really nice day it's nice and warm it's very nice and warm it's lovely I was just saying to Theo that this is a ride that the film was based off of but normally it's the other way around normally you have a film um, a ride that's based off a film where this is a film that was based off a ride so um, and there's a really really nice interview with you're not going to need sunglasses on do um, this is a, there's a really nice interview on Graham Norton with um, Johnny Depp about it and it's certainly worth um, a look because it's funny it's very funny Yep. Good job we've been to the loo before this. <laughs> it's Cheddar Gorge. How <laughs> do you have a war on you, did it? <laughs> Sorry, put it on them. The immersive experience. Oh, do you know what's really nice? You get to sit down in the cool. Captain Jack uh, Oh yeah. Ah, oh, you scurvy scum. Do I hear dead? A hen for a tail. Strike your feathers, dearie. <laughs> Show up your slot. Hey, send them hints at David Jones. It's the rum they want. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Anchor now, you swabbies. What may I offer for these hearty hands? <laughs> 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 
It does, doesn't it? Sky, this thing's so. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look out, look out, look out, look out! Oh, 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 let's go. Oh. So, what do you reckon, Theo? That's <laughs> really good. I love how it just, I just don't expect it and suddenly go poo! <laughs> <laughs> it reminds me of so, Willy Wonka. So, you definitely do that again then, yeah? Oh, 100%. So, go on then. Eight stars! Eight stars. Oh, oh, we haven't eight. been given ratings. Right, eight, so eight stars for this. We've also did the. There's a great big beautiful tour. Come on then, Carousel of Progress. Hi, seven. seven. Okay, I'm good. I'm glad I got a seven. Um, what else have we done? The, the People Mover. Huh? The People Mover. Oh yeah, that's like uh, number seven. Seven as well. Cool. Yep. Right then, let's yep. follow Grandma and Pops. Oh, oh it's good fun. Let's keep going, mate. Do 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 Hello <laughs> So we are now off to the Tiki Tiki Disney Enchanted Enchanted Tiki Rooms. Okay. Wish us luck. What is what is that? It's a um it's an interesting show. Uh, yeah, it's a it's an interesting show. Um, I think that's the best way to describe the Tiki Tiki rooms. Different, ever so slightly charming. Charming is the word I'm going to use. Naff could be another, but we're going to go for, uh, for, for charming. Say again. They're all around us. Okay, weirdest thing ever. So, we've just gone into the tiki rooms, the enchanted tiki rooms. Enchanted, okay. <laughs> um, it's a good way to keep cool, 
have a sit down for a bit and watch your son be very confused. Um, it's not for one year and two Let me just put this further away. There we go. It's a bit like... Weirdness. A lot, a lot of... Weird. You start... When you watch something like that, you start wondering how many drugs were consumed when they came up with that idea. Um, and they were, they've definitely gone for the very much the stereotypes of the um, the accents on the birds. I'm not entirely sure the Irish, the French, or the Germans would be massively impressed with the um, very, very regional accents that they've chosen to use. But great fun, great laugh, great memories from last time, and uh, great memories from this time. So we are now about half an hour away from our uh, Jungle Cruise booking. Um, so we will think about what to do to keep ourselves entertained for half an hour. Um, and then we'll go to the Jungle Cruise. And then I think we're going to go off to Frontierland. Um, and then in Frontierland, we're probably going to do the runaway train. And What's we, the runaway train? That's a very cool ride. It's really fast. Yes. It's scary. I'm not entirely sure Grandma was going to go on it. Mine, 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 mine. So hopefully we'll do that. Okay? Yeah. Right then, so, see you in a bit. Hi. Ah, oh, it's too late. No, too late. Did you give me a pack to give up the money? Yes. Yeah. Take the, take the, yeah! yeah. <laughs> right then, Theo, so this is the Jungle Cruise. Are you looking forward to the Jungle Cruise? I'm looking forward to the reach under there and pull out your sense of humor. It's going to be way more fun if you have one of those, okay, sir? Anyways, um, we are in the Amazon rainforest, right? almost 365 days a year here. Um, I don't know what that means, but coming up on your left-hand side, around this corner, it's going to be Inspiration Falls. Um, inspiration Falls is called that because the longer you stare at it, the more it inspires you to go. <laughs> The pee joke, I know. Some people don't get it. Uh, it's my number one joke. I've kind of been holding it in all day, so if you can't even laugh at those, it's going to be a really awkward 90 minutes for you guys. <laughs> but it's fine. Um, it does look like we're turning into the Congo River. Um, I guess you can say, let's see how far we Congo. It's okay, I hate that joke too. Yeah, but they make me say it, so I have to. You look to your left or to your right in the water, you'll see absolutely nothing. All right. They're like just like really messing with people or something. We used to have piranhas. Um, not anymore though. They're actually um, on vacation again. A while ago they had a very happy piranha. Uh, but speaking of things that start with the letter P, if you look towards your left over here, you're also going to see something that starts with the letter P. Does anyone know what it's called? Plastic. So close though. Okay, so, develop a crush on you. Don't let you get wrapped up in that. Okay, it's a constricting relationship, but whatever. Look over there. Wow, that's not something you see every day. but he's still in denial about it, so we're going to leave him alone. But down ahead is actually one of our more bolder attractions. A lot of people kind of take it for granted. I think it rocks, so his name's Dwayne. Nothing else to say except you're welcome. Um, sometimes when it's really hot out, we like to put our food on the rocks, and you can smell what the rock is cooking. But moving on. Um, there's so many different... Whatever. Right in front of me is just something really pretty and amazing. It's just a waterfall, no big deal. Uh, but you know, this waterfall is, is pretty cool. In about seven minutes, and this waterfall's out there more than you'll ever drink with your whole life. Yeah, I don't know about y'all, but uh, I find that hard to follow. Sleeping zebra comforted by lions. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh my gosh. I'm kidding. It's dead. <laughs> Tired. 
My bad. Guys, I wonder what's going through the zebra's head. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that was really funny though, so I'm going to say it again. Uh, but if you look straight ahead over here, you're going to see a prime example of what happens when y'all wear matching shirts at Disney World, okay? Oh man, what a rhino. The guy on the bottom though, he has a fun story. That's my bro, Ahakas. Yeah, I told that rhino, please don't go on us. That's am sure we got busy once. But just around the riverbend over here, I wanted to show y'all something that my mom got me for my birthday. Okay? Now you can obviously tell who the favorite child is because I asked my mom for a pair of socks and she sent me those two weird things. It's embarrassing. Whatever. Right in front of me is just something really pretty and amazing. Behind me though is just a waterfall. No big deal. Uh, but you know, this waterfall is, is pretty cool. In about seven minutes, enough water falls off there more than you'll ever drink in your whole life. Yeah. I don't know about y'all, but uh, I find that hard to swallow. <laughs> but, uh, anyways, and first on the left, you probably saw a really nice event you got on your face and in your pores. Um, but this is actually home to like 90,000 different types of jungle bacteria. So, if you don't feel it now, you'll probably feel it in 24 to 48 hours. That could be a doctor. But, anyways, uh, we are going to drink a hippo pool, guys. And this is very, very dangerous territory we're in, okay? So, if you have any marbles on you, put them away. These are some very hungry, hungry hippos we're dealing with, all right? That duck, it's done for. Not making it out, okay? And, uh, by the way, though, they only sunk like six boats last week. Yeah, thankfully five of them were mine, so we're going to be okay, all right? Anyways, I wanted to take a moment and thank y'all. Uh, a lot of people come on my boat, they tend to say that my job is so easy, a monkey could do it. I don't really get it, you know, kind of my feeling. I, I understand I drive a boat in circles for a living, but, you know, me and my parents got a little heart to heart yesterday, and I said, Skipper Annika, we're so proud of your brother. Uh, he's a lawyer, so I, I get it. But uh, coming up on your left are some really rare hard drug flies. Sorry, no. Uh, yeah, no, those are hard drug flies. I know you're thinking, I, I can't believe it's not butter. Oh, fine. Anyways, uh, that's the moment you've all been waiting for. Get your camera down. It's the amazing, the colossal, the stupendous, the uh, outrageous, the truly remarkable, the stunning, the gorgeous, the wonder of the world. The backside of water! Woo! Sorry, I'm um, every done. Okay, sorry, I just have to put my eyebrows, they're also wiped off. Really weird. <laughs> Anyways, but we made it to the Macaw River, deep in the heart of Cambodia. Uh, and this super scary dark temple looks really fun to me, so we're going to go in. You all keep your eyes open. I'm going to close mine, okay? But between me and you, this might be painful, all right? Might hurt a little or a lot. Might experience some pain. Because it does look like we're entering a root canal, so. But, you know, out of all the cruises today, you all have truly been 
one of them. I'm kidding. Oh my gosh. No, you've definitely been the most recent. So, congratulations. Okay, if you laugh today, thank you for laughing. If you just stared at me with your mouth open, I get it. But thank you for leaving. Okay, appreciate it more. You enjoyed your cruise. Remember, my name is Skipper Annika. This has been the World Famous Jungle Cruise. If you did not, that's okay. But then my name is Anna Cannon. This has been Star Tours. Okay. I know Annika is my name. And Annika is spelled H-E-L-P space M-E. I the cry for help is silent. Um, honestly, though, it's lottery day. We're here, so come back and save me. Sorry. See me. I'll be around. And around. And around all day long, every 10 to 12 minutes. Anyways, guys, this was very fun. Um, I love to keep chatting, but I'm having a friend for dinner. So I'm going to remind you to please remain seated, keep your hands, arms, feet, legs, the boat, parents, please supervise your children. So we've just done the jungle cruise. It's hilarious. It is hilarious. I have to say, if you think it was just a, it was just the ride, right? I already thought it was. It would have been a bit naff. But the, 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 the people who drive the boats. Yeah. Well, he scratches his back. People who actually drive the boat are hilarious. Don't know if they employ comedians on purpose or what, but they are absolutely brilliant. I, I really enjoyed that. What do you reckon, mate? Yeah. Really, uh, really the, cool. The temple part was quite fun. The what, sorry? The temple part. The temple part? Yeah. What temple part? The scary temple thing. Oh, yes, yes, sorry, yes. <laughs> Unfortunately, when you wear hearing aids, because there's a lot of background noise and stuff, you do struggle sometimes to hear what's going on. But no, it's just reminded me. So, on to the next one. Bye. Yeah, I know, I'm old. Yeah. Well, I think a lot of people think it's going to be really bad walking around the park. Theo was just saying, it's not that bad walking around Florida. And it's not. It's nice and warm. There's lots, lots to look at. Constantly, everywhere you go, things, things to look at. People to avoid. Isn't that right? It's not that bad walking in Florida because like, there's a lot, well, in Disney, because there's lots to look at, lots to see, lots of people to not walk in front of. But yeah, it's cool. It's just so cool. Right, so that's the big train station so I think grandma's idea is we're gonna go on the big train and then come back for the little train so he's just waiting yeah cool right so we're gonna give Thunder Mountain a, a, a go and we're gonna um, go on scary ride now I'm not entirely sure <laughs> I'm not entirely sure how this is gonna cope this gable and all this is gonna cope with the ride so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a different camera on and see how that works in the editing it may have worked it may not so wish me luck so we've just done Thunder Mountain. Unfortunately, just shaking my mic. Unfortunately, my I've got a wrist cam which I'll charge up um, at home, and unfortunately, that decided to die as soon as we got on the ride. So that's really annoying. But it was really cool. So what did you reckon? Ten out. No, nine out. Ten out of ten. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. It could be Why, scarier. It, mate? Again, people can't see you if you do that. It could be scarier. It could be scarier. I, I, I want to be more powerful. More, more powerful. Up, more sideways. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's got the bug. He's got the bug, ladies and gentlemen. But so, so no, I'm the loopy loops. Eh, eh. Well, you never know. You might, you might like the loopy loops. You didn't think you'd like that, and now you like that. So who knows? No, I said I would like it. All right, okay. So, um, don't know what we're up to next. Uh, what's the time? I think we're going to make ourselves uh, make our way back over to um, Main Street USA because the fireworks are going to be going off in around about 45 minutes. I don't know, sometimes you need to get a real good uh, spot to see them, so we're going to do that in a minute. So we're going to slowly mosey on over there. Mm. Then I think we're going to try possibly the Haunted House. We put that on our pass. So we're going to do the Haunted House, and then we're going to call it a day for the day. All right? So. See you later. See you later. Hello. Hello, everybody. So we are just waiting now for... <laughs> um, yeah, that guy just keeps turning up. I don't know what happened. Um, but we are just waiting for you can see uh, the castle in the background there. We're not we're, related to them. We're, ju we're just waiting for uh, the fireworks. So we're just sitting around, well, standing around, sitting around for around about 15 20 minutes, and then we'll see the fireworks and we will share those with you too. So, what I love about this is if I'm going to switch the camera around in a minute, you get to see the area lit up and it's really pretty. 
about 30 minutes to make sure you're burning your skin. Really, really pretty. All the lights. This is what I remember from being a kid. Everything lit up. And then we've got a really nice spot, hopefully, to see the fireworks. Each of us has a dream, a heart's desire. It calls to us. And when we're brave enough to listen and bold enough to pursue, that dream will lead us on a journey to discover who we're meant to be. All we have to do is look inside our hearts and unlock the magic within. Ready to begin, just ignore them, don't let them ride for it.
Who's going to be so poor? The people who made all that. I am loving 
I will find a place where the heroes would be waiting for me. Where the crowds would cheer when they see my face. And a voice keeps saying, This is what I'm meant to be. And so our journey comes to an end, but yours continues on. Grab hold of your dreams and make them come true, for you are the key to unlocking your own magic. Now go, let your dreams guide you. Reach out and find your happily ever after. The battles, the stories, the losses and all the glory were changed by the way we lived every day. Just look up and reach to the sky. We all have the courage to smile. Thank you. Did you see it? Oh, shit, boy. No, no, no. Did you see it? Oh, That was your very first Disney fireworks experience, would you reckon? It's amazing, isn't it? Very cool. You just have to do this every day, yes. And they do this, not only at this park, they do it at other parks as well. Like, I know they do it at Epcot. Um, I know they do it at the Central. Possibly even Disney um, Studios as well. So, quite amazing. Very cool. We're going to do the Haunted House. And then, oh, so, uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah. See you later, guys. Hey? No, <laughs> look at you. Bye. He's not tasty. Bye.
Right then, so we've just done our last right. ride of the day. So that was the haunted house. Uh, what did you think? Oh, it was good. It was good it's fun. Going yeah, it goes backwards, which I I totally forgotten, and a ghost joined you, which I totally forgotten. But it was great fun. How many out of ten? Seven point six out of ten. I give it a nine because it's just it's cool and it's silly and it's good fun. So we are now going to head out of the park. Eight point six. We're now going to head out of the park and try and find the car. Side to Disney is everybody's trying to get home at the same time, but you just have to wait, that's just the way it is. everyone so we have finished our first day at disney we are officially pooped yes oh yeah yeah officially pooped we're gonna go and get a bite to eat and then uh, and go home so yeah we're very very tired but it's a great day hopefully you enjoy the video um but yeah great day just a couple of things to mention one um he's gonna go to sleep um <laughs> uh a couple of things to mention very very busy and apparently it's busy a lot of the time now um people can be quite um in their own world let's put it that way i think that's the kindest way of putting it and so uh, people can walk in front of you and, and uh, nearly walk into you and it's a little bit frustrating but you just kind of got to change your mindset otherwise you could get really riled and really annoyed by it um people keep oh god kids. just kids people buying kids bubble machines and you know it, it gets a bit much after enough when you know when you probably think yeah be millions of dishes you can wash with it anyway whinge over so we're going to head home now so really hope you've enjoyed this video um please remember to right i'll try to remember then because he can't please remember to uh click the like uh, icon please subscribe and click the notifications bell also please comment it really helps the channel channel um and we hope you join us on the next one take care Bye. <laughs>